Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we look at all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to be taking a look at Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this game has been on quite a lot of different things over the years, but it did get a port to the PS4 and Xbox One, I believe, and then eventually came out on the Switch. Now, I've had this for a few weeks, but I finally decided to sink about 10 hours into it at this point. Um... But I wanted to talk about the port and, and my feelings on it being on the Switch and all that kind of good stuff, uh, as you've probably come to expect now, because it is a remaster, technically. Um, though I did have to look up what they did to the game to see what had changed. Uh, so they upscaled it to 1080p, they uh, added new lighting effects, I believe. They also changed some of the physics in it as something that got changed. Um, and a few like UI bits and bobs, minor stuff, but the kind of things you'd expect that should be standard in a remaster of a game. It also comes with all the DLC. However, I have this game, when I originally played this game, I played it on Wii U. And that came with a set of armor that you could get from the beginning of the game, which technically broke the game because it gave you an insane amount of health regen, which I don't think is in this. But you do get all the main DLC, the main story stuff. So, I am currently in the second area of the game at the moment. And I just wanted to sort of talk about it and, and just see, give me my thoughts on it. Straight off the bat, this game isn't perfect. I like these kind of action games. Like, they're fun. Uh, they're something I enjoy doing, as you can see. You can pull off some crazy combos and things. Um, but this game isn't perfect. Like a lot of the problem with these type of games, the usual sort of thing, they can be quite difficult. Um, the camera can sometimes get in the way. The platforming in this game, while it doesn't, it's not always that bad, it can sometimes mess up and be a little bit janky. Um, but overall, the actual game itself, like, is pretty good, and I've played Darksiders 1, and I've played Darksiders 2, obviously, um, and I like both the games. I've not played the third one, and I've not played Genesis that recently came out, but honestly, this game, pretty good, and the best thing about this, I picked this game up for Nintendo Switch for £20. If you live in the UK, you can get this game at a budget price, and for the amount of content that's in it, like, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, really in that sense because this is this is the second world map here um, You get to visit pretty much all these locations some of them being side content some of them being main content and this is just one one area uh, that is In the game there are a few different ones. This is the second one that I'm um, that we're in but La a big game for 20 quid on the switch all the DLC You know it that alone is pretty good Um the one thing that I have noticed with this game, like, you can probably tell it's got a very, like, 2010s kind of vibe. Um, it's that kind of game. Similar sort of problems that you'd expect from those kind of games like there. If you've played Dante's Inferno, Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, you know, this kind of, that kind of stuff. I'm just going to fast travel to, like, an area, so we're off this. So I don't really want to carry on the story. Let's go and just... Let's just fast travel... I don't know, here we'll do... I can show you a boss that I've been trying to do, and I can't, I'm, I will die on this boss. I am so under level to do it that um, it isn't going to happen. But just to give you a little sort of an idea, this game is very much like Zelda, like the first one, in that, if that gives you an idea, it's that kind of go to dungeons, defeat bosses, collect items kind of thing. It's not all like that in this. Um, you have the RPG elements as well, where you upgrade your size, which is your main weapons. Uh, sorry, you're not size, your scythe, which is, or the split scythe, which is your main weapons, like this. Uh, and then I have an axe, but I also have other weapons, which I'll show you now. Um, I have those scythes, uh, we've got secondary weapons, we've got axes, we've got talons, uh, there's a buckler you can use, uh, you've got, I don't have any more, but you've also got like clubs and swords and other things like that you can use on top of that. You get all kinds of gear, you get each one gives you different upgrades and abilities and things like that. There's a lot to this game. This game is really cool. You've even got skills. I'm going down uh, the necromancy skill here by raising ghouls and things. I don't know if it's good or not. Um, and honestly, like the game itself, there is a, there's a lot here to like. For the price that it is, like a budget price for 20 quid, it's worth it. This game, in my opinion, is still good at 40 quid. This is probably what the definition of an 8 out of 10 game would be. But there is two, there are a few little things I wanted to pick up on while I'm um, playing. This game has a lot of audio bugs I have noticed in cutscenes and on certain times where the audio, all I can hear is the music, there's no audio playing. Um, never had it happen in a conversation, but beware, if you do play it, expect to just see audio bugs. This isn't, this isn't just the Switch version, this happened on the Wii U version as well. 
Um, and the other thing is the frame rate will chug in certain areas when you summon things on screen. Um, the loading times between areas are really janky because you'll hit a new area and it will suddenly start loading and you're like in the middle of a jump or whatever. So there are problems with this game. It isn't perfect. But as ports go, it's not that bad. And I have been enjoying myself with it. I will... Um, I'm going to need a different thing. Also, you have this nice radial thing with your abilities and stuff. I'm going to attempt to do this boss. I will probably die because he one-shots me. Um, but before I do that, so you've got an idea, there are combos in this game. It's very much, there's two buttons. You've got he your, your, your uh, scythes and you've also got whatever you've got on your secondary weapon. But you can combine things like dodge and attack, which does things like that. You can go the standard combo, which is just keep tapping, in this case Y, and it'll do this. Um, but if you delay things, you can go do this. Which is like one of my favourite things to do. Uh, you've also got... Oh, no. One, two, three. Or was it one, two? Oh, I'm really bad at doing this, apparently. You can do other moves as well. That, uh, if you ever want to look them up, which I should probably do. Uh, there is... Oh, hello. Uh, there is a list of... There's a move list, basically. And it shows you, like, you know, Razor Kick, Meteor, Evade Counter, Reperform, and then it... Oops, I always do that. And then this is everything you can do. Oh, there you go, Razor Slash, Razor Wheel. Razor Strike, I think, was the one I was trying to do, which is Y and then Y, Y, Y. Um, and then you've got, like, Twin Cannon, um, f Dodging Forward Evade, Switching Between the Ones, you've got stuff in the air you can do as well. I haven't tried Flip Saw. That's Y, Y during a Quick Fall. Oh! I've not used that. Uh, you've also got stuff with the hammer as well, so you can do the, this, the normal combo, or you can charge it up. This is an axe, not a hammer, isn't it? These things are really powerful. That's what I was trying to do, was the other combo. Uh, you've got stuff in the air, and you can also do like that as well. So there's some really cool things. Also, I just unlocked an ability where I can go, if I time it right, it'll flip up in the air and carry on the combo. But yeah. You got the idea of the game. I'm going to have a go at this boss. Um, the game definitely looks a little bit... You can definitely see some jaggies on this. Some of the aliasing isn't amazing. Um, it is from a time period where, you know, games did look a bit drab in a lot of ways back in the time of, like, 360, Wii U, and PS3 era. But, honestly, most of what's good about this game is still good. If you like that kind of loop, the port onto the Switch is pretty good, though I would say that the frame rate issues and... Um, the sort of loading and stuff. I feel like that should really have been ironed out by this point. Like, this isn't a game that you should really have those kind of things happening on. Oh, I'm dead already. You can see the ice damage. Look that. I can't believe I survived that. Summon some ghoulies. There you go, my little ghoulies doing all my work for me. And it did very little damage, as you can see. So, what makes this boss really hard is... <laughs> I am massively underleveled. I'll try him again. I'm massively underleveled for this side boss. He also does f f uh, freezing damage, which just completely destroys me. Um, so, I'll try him one more time, and I'll move on and just show off some different areas. But, yeah... I'm, I do like this game, and if you do like these kind of action hack and slash games, this is definitely worth picking up. Um, definitely get the defi Definitive Edition, because there's obviously a play on words there, um, because you do get all the DLC, and it's such a cheap price now. Um, the first game as well, Dark, uh, Dark Side is War Mastered. I like that game as well. I think this one is slightly better, um, but... You know, we'll get to that at some point, because I will end up getting that. Again, I do have it on the Wii U, technically, but I'll probably get it for Switch to talk about it then. But yeah. Let's see if I can do this boss, shall we? Hey, that's not the normal attack you meant to do. Oh, no. So he also has a shield, which makes it really hard to... Uh... Oh. I don't want any part of your games, boy -o. Nope. 
I've got to say, dodging in this game feels really fun. Something you can get really good at. Not into him. Not into him! Oh, Christ. What I should really be doing is using... The, I've got an axe on here that... Uh, oh. I've got an axe... Oh, my God. I don't not die. Yeah, I've got an axe on here that actually gives me health back, which is what I should probably be using against him. But, you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep doing this and hope for the bar. I'm dead. But you can see, like, that's that's what happens when you fight a boss when you're underleveled. But yeah, the port itself, I mean, we'll have a look in the op I don't know if there's much to show off in the options apart from the normal kind of stuff. And honestly, it's it, it feels like a very much a drag and drop they've done with this. They've just taken the other versions and stuck it on Switch. H I don't know if it's got HD rumble or not, but like the rumble in this works pretty well. The gameplay itself is basically combat and puzzles. I actually really enjoy most of it. Like I said, the um, the gameplay, or the platforming can be a little bit janky in places, um, but other than that, it's uh, pretty good. So that's not that's not too much of an issue. Let's go here and see if I can find just some normal dudes to wail on. Um, you also get your horse now. A lot of the places are pseudo 3D as well, but. Hopefully, being in a big open area will kind of show off. You you might see like the loading going from one area to another, uh, as well as it looking a bit. It's definitely it's definitely starting to show its age. This game for sure. This isn't something that's going to look amazing, but it looks good enough so you can see what you're doing. Um, you know, the boss fights are for the most part are fairly fun. Oh, look at that as it's loading in. You can see it uh, doesn't look amazing. There's definitely some stutter going on here. Oh, yes, mate. You also kick him into the air, which is a lot of fun. If you dodge forward into a skeleton, that's always fun to do. Yeah, dodge and jump, I think. Carry on. It's a good way to start your combo. But you can see if you already, you can probably kind of tell what kind of game this is and if you're into this sort of thing. But if, after playing it for about eight hours, I'm kind of like, oh, okay. You know, it's interesting playing it again. Like, I never completed it originally when I had it. But it's interesting looking at the port. Ooh. Boosh. Boosh. I'll show off some other weapons, actually, while I'm at this. Uh, we've got... Dark Talons. These are fun because they're a fast weapon. Any dudes here? So they work quite well when you can combine everything. It's very, very fast. Much better for single target. The bigger weapons are much better for groups of enemies, for sure. But even look, now, just watching, like, looking at him riding across this landscape, like, definitely some frame drops. There's definitely some, uh, you know, it, it definitely does, as you're moving towards stuff, it does start to look better, but... On, sit down. Oh, yeah, I can freeze him with this. Ooh. Ooh, I use these. So you can do some fun stuff. Like I've unlocked bye bye. I've unlocked a lot of the combos at this point. I mean I assume there's more later on, but stuff that I've been doing has been pretty good. Um Yeah, I mean this this is pretty much it. I mean what I wasn't expecting too much from the Switch version. I was just expecting it like a solid port, and I mean, since they've ported it over uh, uh, to Switch now, and it's on the other systems as well, Definitive Edition is decent. And like I said, for the price, you can't really go too wrong with a game if you like this kind of game and this style of game. Ooh, ooh. Let's give these a whirl. Hit me. These probably aren't as cool, but yeah, bucklers and like hand stuff. Basically, there's two types of weapons. There's heavy and fast ones. Even though they, you get different training depending on the weapon you want. Bucklers let you do this though, block attacks. Whereas like claws let you jump forward. Axes and lances and things like that have different, different things. Oh, hello! Kick him up in the air. Sit down. 
know, it just it, the game is satisfying to play. It looks fun to play. Doing crazy things like this, like cutting people up, it's great. But yeah, I mean, I feel at this point you're either going to like it or you're going to not like it. You can tell just by me. I mean, just walking around in this area, you can probably see the game chugs a little bit. Doing this as well, it's not overly happy, is it? Um, but I wasn't expecting much more than that, to be perfectly honest. Can I even go this way? No. Um, yeah, this is a competent port. It is a competent game. It's not without its problems, for sure. But if you can look past some of the, the frame rate and the loading, it's pretty decent. Um, like I said, the camera can sometimes, be in group large groups, the camera can sometimes get in the way. The, the platform can be a little bit janky. But for the most point part, the combat is really solid. The game's pretty good at giving you stuff regularly. Like, I've got this hand now. I've got obviously got the gun as well. Of course, I've got to upgrade the gun. I've got some other abilities. Put the gun away. See if I can do this, because I've never managed to pull this off. But you've got a teleport slash, which is really cool. Let's see if I can do it from this dude. You can take health from people doing that. So that's probably a better move to level up, really, if you want to get your health back. Um, I've also got, like, a shield, which works and stuff as well. But, yeah, it's it's a good game. And, honestly, for the price that you can get this, especially in the UK, where it's only, like, 20 quid, absolutely recommend this 100%, even though there are slight problems in there. Just be aware that it isn't going to run perfectly. It's going to run well most of the time. And when there are a lot of enemies on screen, for the most part, it runs pretty well. Uh, unless you summon the ghouls and stuff, and then it gets a bit hectic. But... Solid game, solid port, and then I, I, I would give a recommended recommendation of this for the price, you know, 20 quid for what is probably a 40 or 50 hour game, then absolutely, like, definitely, definitely recommend. Um, and also the first one, but, like, that's that's for another day, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there you go, that's what Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition looks and runs like on Switch. I will just check the options in this quickly. Um... If there is, I, is it on the main? Might be on the main title screen. So let me just. What oh, we're doing? Wrong button. That's why. Options. Here we go. Let's have a look. We've got damage indicators, auto collect, which is probably worth putting on. You can change the difficulty. Definitive apocalyptic. No. Uh, aim sensitivity. What else have we got going on? Mini map. Rotate subtitles. Tutorials. Language. Standard sliders there, and then gamma. So there's not really a lot you can do in here. I'm surprised they didn't add in um, vibration specifically for um, what would you call it? HD rumble. But you know, it is what it is. It is a it is a functional game. Um, it is good fun. It works. It's cheap. There's not much you're going to get better than that from this kind of game and this kind of port. Like, I, I haven't played the original. I've only ever played the Wii U version, which had, like... I mean, I assume that was... Uh, that was, like, a special edition. But it's good. I recommend it. Go and buy it. It's fun. You're going to have a, lot of, a great time with it. So thank you very much for listening and watching. As always, if you like the video, obviously hit like. If you want to see more content like this... Seems as I'm now doing a lot of remasters and ports and things. Obviously, hit subscribe if you want to see more content like that specifically. But we've got other stuff going on as well, so don't worry. Uh, Facebook and Twitter links in the bottom there if you want to follow us on Twitter, if you want to follow us on Facebook. That's where a lot of stuff gets posted if you're not subscribed. And until next video, I'll see you then.